Hello, and welcome to our first episode of Beyond Labs Prep. Hi, this is Heather. Today we're in the Inorganic Laboratory, and I'm going to show you some qualitative analysis to get you used to how the laboratory works to prep you for when you need to do this in your actual lab classes. So I'm going to show you with a transition metal separation, just so you can see the capability of the labs. So we're going to start by adding cobalt, copper two, and nickel. These are three that are relatively simple to separate, but you need to know the different steps to get there. To start off, we'll make this. We'll add sodium hydroxide. So you can see the formulas in all of in this box that shows you what has been formed so far. When you're doing this with an unknown, you won't see these formulas, but I'm showing you what we have now just to make it simpler for you. So I'll centrifuge, decant. So now we're left with the three hydroxide. Now I'll add some ammonia. Okay, so now you can see that one of them is not precipitated out. It's in solution, so I can centrifuge and decant. And now in this tube, I've separated off the copper. Okay, so that's how we separate out copper. Make it in hydroxide, then adding the ammonia. Now, how do you separate the cobalt and the nickel? Do you remember the test to do this? We're going to add heat. And now we've oxidized the cobalt. So now what do you do? You can add nitrate ions, and you can see your cobalt is precipitated, and your nickel is a cation in solution. So now when we centrifuge and decant, now we have our nickel separated off and our cobalt is in here. It's still in the oxidized state, so if you want to take it back, you can add heat again, and that takes it to the original oxidation state that we started with. So that's how you separate them. So now let's test that. Okay, so if you go into the lab, we will just pull here. And you say you want to create an unknown. So let's say you can have between zero and three cations in there. And we want to say you can do it with cobalt, copper, or nickel. So now this will create an unknown for you so you can practice. So now I have an unknown and I don't know what ions are in it. You might be able to guess a little bit based off the color, but let's go through those same tests again. What did you do to separate the ions? Okay, we added some sodium hydroxide. Okay, so you see it doesn't tell you what's in there again. Now when we centrifuge, decant. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add ammonia. Hmm, what does that color tell you? So now we can centrifuge, decant. Okay, so what does that color tell you? What do you think you have there? Now let's test and see what you have in this tube up here. What were the steps we did for that? The color changed. Have you seen that before? Turn off the heat, add nitric acid, centrifuge, decant. Interesting. Okay, so I ended up with this solid again. What was that? Oh yeah, okay, I think I've got that. I remember what that test tells me. That was the cobalt test. And then this color, that color tells me directly what it is. So then what I do is I go into the lab book here. And based on what I have determined that I have in that unknown test tube, I think I have actually all three. I didn't expect to, but I do. And since all buttons turn green, Boom, it means you did the test right. You got it right. If you're still not confident, go back and create another new unknown. Keep testing it and testing it and testing it as many times as you need. So then when you go into the real lab to do more qual analysis, you're ready. You can repeat this experiment with as many different cations as you want, right? You can put what you need in these test tubes. Keep testing so you are fully ready to do qual analysis in the lab. We hope this helps. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and go to beyondlabs.com to download the entire suite of virtual labs.